chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension, or CTEF, is a very rare condition. It only happens in about 1,200 patients a year in the U.S. And basically what it is, it's high blood pressure in the lungs that occurs after uh, pulmonary emboli, or blood clots that go to the lung, um, that do not completely dissolve. Pulmonary embolism is a very common cardiovascular condition, and it's typically treated with medical therapy like blood thinners but sometimes those blood clots don't completely resolve or they can recur and that can cause changes in the blood vessels in the lungs. Although CTEF is rare, it's one of the leading causes of right heart function and left untreated, it can be deadly. CTEF is actually very difficult to diagnose and there's often a delay in diagnosis because they're presenting with relatively nonspecific symptoms such as trouble breathing, uh, when they're doing activity or just very tired, not able to do what they were typically able to do before. Um, they can be misdiagnosed as other things like asthma or COPD or heart failure. The way that this is typically diagnosed is through a scan called a ventilation perfusion scan, which allows us to see areas of the lung that are being oxygenated, but blood flow is not getting to them because of the blood clots or the scarring. Um, another way is something called a pulmonary angiogram, which is basically like a, a catheterization procedure for the lungs and we can actually visualize the blood clots um, that have been there or the blockages that are in the blood vessels in the lungs.